Welcome to the Level Up Call with Nick Lopez, where we talk about how others level up throughout their career and how they help others level up uh, through their platform on whatever it is that they do. Uh, today, I'm absolutely humbled to have Michael and Diva Hanley on the call. Uh, Michael, Diva, welcome. Hi, Nick. Hey, Nick. How are you? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, Oh my goodness. Uh, we've been chatting prior to getting going here and uh, you, what you guys are doing is really special and I'm just really excited and uh, especially humbled, uh, humbled at, you know, the, the power of a partnership like the franchise model. Um, you know, you get a proven business model and uh, good partners and great support and everything else it all comes together within a franchise model. That's, that's the competitive advantage of being in business together. So I say all that to, to tell you that, um, you know, I just love being in business with you two, and I'm so excited to share your story today. Um, would you guys mind sharing uh, how you heard about Lime Painting? Uh, you know, were, were you guys working with a consultant? Who, who was that? What was the process like learning about Lime? And, you know, ultimately, what led you guys to feel like, okay, this is the right business for us? Yeah. So uh, we were in LA and I, you know, I always been intrigued by franchises. Like I knew Jimmy John's and McDonald's, right. Those are two of the, I know that people think about, at least I thought about it, you know, when we were looking at the, the franchise model and we saw this place called the Dalai Lama in LA and we really was like, okay, what about franchises? A banker introduced us to David Busker. David Busker is a franchise consultant. He's actually here in St. Louis. And he introduced us to about five, you know, they try to keep it about four, but five or six uh, companies and family business. My dad does a lot of real estate on the side, but he's a manufacturer's rep for plumbing. So we saw plumbing, swimming pools, et cetera, and showed us line. And I was like, all right. I like it, but, and it was funny because when we had a call with David Tarr, the first call, and David Tarr's with Repram Group, he said, Mike, are you breaking up with me? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? He's like, well, are you breaking up with me? Are you not interested? And I said, <laughs> I said, no, I, I, I neither here nor there. You know, it's just honestly, I was, you know, going through the process with the franchise broker and, um, you know, David Tarr, you know, we just continued down the path. And to be completely honest with you, Nick, uh, Lime was at the bottom. Yeah, Lime was at the bottom. We didn't, it was, it was neither here nor there. We didn't put much mind to it, but I was like family business plumbing. Let's look at the plumbing one. Yeah. But I'd always grew up painting and I knew, I, I know painting. So I was like, let's just keep it in the game, right? And uh, the more we got to know the model, the more that we understood how it worked. And honestly, subcontractor versus employee wasn't really a thing for me. I didn't look at it six one way, half a dozen the other. But um, we, it was more about who we were partnering with. Mm -hmm. And we got the feeling from our previous experiences that people were like, okay, give us your money and, and see you later, mm -hmm. figure it out. And uh, we kept working with David. And then finally we met you and we met Jim and Nick Sheehan and Ashley, everybody in Charlotte. And uh, that was our final decision. I think after, after going to the discovery day in Denver, no, in Charlotte, Charlotte uh we fell in love with Lime, you know, the culture, people uh who work with Lime. It's I mean they are amazing. You guys are amazing. And yeah, so we made our final decision after that trip. So we were just like, okay, we should go with Lime because 
that's very important for us. Um, the culture, people, and uh, we feel very comfortable working with you guys. And yeah, after that trip, I would say we were just sure that we wanted to go with Line. Yeah, you probably remember that picture of us sitting in the airport. We were oh, like with that little yeah. ball, and, and you gave us the shirt. You yeah. said get Line. Yeah. That's when we really knew that. <laughs> That we wanted to work with you, or like we want to be part of the family line family. So. Yeah, and that that was uh, about a year ago. Yeah, when about a year ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, about yeah, November, October, no, October, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. you're right, right on, man. It, it was about a year ago. Mm -hmm. About a year, and then uh, you came to training in. in in uh, Dallas. So oh, Dallas, yes. in initially we were planning on doing initial training. We had a ton of people, like 30 people, different locations, their, their uh, teams coming. And we were initially going to do it in Denver, but COVID, yeah. uh, you know, Colorado shut down, Texas mm -hmm. was still open. I think there was a universal consensus across the board that yeah. we want to do it in person. We ended up doing it in December. And then you launched in January. Mm -hmm. uh, so since you launched in January, you know, don't speak to specific numbers per se, but you know, what, what has the last 12 months looked like, or excuse me, uh, the, the past, you know, uh, nine, nine and a half months, you know, since you launched in January, what, what does it look like? Um, it's been, honestly, it's been great. Mm -hmm. It's been a lot of hard work. It's been positive. It's been challenging. It's been, oh my, you know what? What am I going to be able to do? Um, are we going to be able to do this? Are we going to be successful? And so, you know, what does that look like? You know, like you're asking. And for, for us, it was just the only thing I really learned is, you know, you talk about behaviors but I always think about action. That's how I view it. But I take, I also take part of what you say and I try to make it my own, but I was like, okay, so we, I got to take action every single day. And I know if I take those actions, like you say, if you take those behaviors, eventually, you know, you say no behavior or no action goes like in vain, so to speak, meaning if we take the right steps, we will eventually get the result. And I took, you know, I feel like we took that to heart, right? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Knocking on doors, you know, uh, mm -hmm. in January, in February, in March. Beginning of March. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we talked about behavior equals outcome quite a bit. And, you know, if you can maximize your behavior, if you can focus on, organizing minor and major tasks throughout your week, you know, appropriately managing your behavior and then zeroing in on, okay, am I doing the right behavior? So as you learn the right behavior and you max out the behavior, you know, you're really doing a good job of um, setting yourself up to get the outcomes that you want. Uh, and of course you're launching a business, right? You, you two were owner operator. You didn't have anyone in your team, right? And you bought one location in St. Louis. So uh, January was very important. Uh, you're launching your business and the success of, of uh, your uh, future at Lime and as an entrepreneur in, in this chapter is based on whether you can uh, learn the business, apply the business. There's there's good days, there's bad days, as you were sharing, right? And all of that mixture of launching a business, uh, <laughs> it, oh. it, it, that, you know, you go through different seasons, right? And, and some days you feel like you're on top of the world. And some days you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to figure it out. And uh, so year one by far is the most difficult year. And I'm, I'm just so excited. You guys did such a tremendous job this year, you know, year one, year two, it's just, total 180 because you've done all the first, right? We talk about your first, uh, your race to a quarter million. That's such an important milestone because uh, you've done all your first, you've, you've 
acquired your first lead, you've acquired your first client, you've received your first review after a job, well done. Uh, all, all clearly really important things. And uh, they are first times, which means there's a lot of uncertainty. So what did, what did the team and the process and the systems and the training at Lime, how did all of that help you navigate through that and ultimately you know, accomplish some goals? And you know, what, what, what were some of those goals uh, for year one? Um, you know, I, a lot of people talk about goals and I, I, you know, I a hundred percent respect that, but for me personally, when I think about a goal, it honestly goes back to what we just talked about. And that was just getting up every single day and doing the right thing and taking the right behaviors. And for me, I didn't put a monetary figure on that goal. Uh, for the only reason is I didn't, it was our first year. I didn't really know. I didn't want to put a big goal on something that I really knew nothing about other than the model that was set in place. But I hadn't, I knew it is because I hadn't experienced it myself. I'm 34 years old. I've been in business a while. I've worked at enterprise you know, holdings as a management trainee. I've worked for a manufacturing company. I've worked for a family business and I've seen different things, but I never owned my own business and I never, um, I never had employees, so to speak. And so, you know, we just looked at it as like, let's just do our very best and let's just do things the right way and take care of people. And when we did things the right way and we took care of people and we took the right actions and the right behaviors, the results followed. So I'd say it's a super successful year. We already bought our second territory and dives has been an amazing part of that. And it's just been, it's been great as far as Lime goes and like the folks at Lime, you know, um, the trip, you know, just the overall support and the engagement, like with as much as you have going on, you're still super engaged, even, you know, with little, you know, with things that a lot of folks wouldn't put mind to, or would feel maybe like it's not quite in their level of importance per se. Um, and I feel like in that sense, I think you're super humble and you're, you're super engaged and you're all in. And I think that shows with our results and the results of other folks that are in the line family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as far as the national success coach, Jim Ward, Jim does an amazing job. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he super likable guy. He can, sell which is great of course because that's part of the position and um but Jim's awesome and I really like him which is always a plus I don't have to like people I work with I most respect them you know but I really like Jim and um you know do our best to try to get to know folks you know we had Bethany uh, and Jessica on the, on the bid support side. And they're that, I think the, the, the bid support from Lime is probably the most important asset being a new owner. And you make it easy as well to learn, like with that support that we have, what you guys provide us, uh, make it easy. Yeah. And that's, that's a difference maker for us because, mm -hmm. you know, the way I look at it as a business owner, and I know probably each person has their own view on it, but I want to keep my guys on the job site. I want to keep them busy. If I need to run an errand for them now and then, or go pick up some lumber or go do that, do. that's what we do. And having that back end support with Lime is like, okay, I can go to the job site, make a good impression with the customer, show them that we care, talk to them about our process, shoot a video, take the pictures, send it to Dives. She puts it in whiteboard form and then we, we get our bid back. And then that's just us compiling the information, making any adjustments that we need and sending it over. So it's just, 
it just takes a lot of effort out and it saves us time. And when it saves us time, mm-hmm. the customer knows they don't know that, but they know that we show up to the job and we do what we say what we're going to do and our, and our crews feel the same way. And that's, you know, so that, that part of what I think that's probably the best, the, the branding is great. I literally drive all the time people or people say all the time that they see our cars everywhere. We've got yeah. two of them. I'm like, okay. I mean, that's great. We don't have that many cars, but that's good marketing as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got a call from just seeing our cars. Like, oh, I saw your truck. I saw your car uh, on the freeway. And, you know, like they are reaching out, so internet, yeah. and yeah. I mean, they want to, they want to estimate. <laughs> yeah, they want to. Yeah, they want to work with us, and then, with us. um, the. I, I, you know, even when we see people look at it, I'll be driving and they'll look at the car and I'll, they'll say it. They'll actually say like lime painting. <laughs> and I'm like, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mark it down. Put us on your calendar. Here we come. No, but I mean, it's no, lime's great. And honestly, for me, the most important thing is the quality of people, you know, um, that's was our deciding factor like we talked about you know the model's great you're great nick we love you but it's also like okay like what are we buying into and, and the really it's in the end of the day for us it was the people so yeah. that was a cool share hmm. yeah so um you know as a power couple you two uh coming into line <laughs> Looking what? at looking at this as a uh, as a as a scalable business, uh, you know, I'm just I can't I can't help but ask, you know, Daiba, how how are you involved in the business? Uh, I know that you've been instrumental in supporting the business. Yeah. You know, what, what are some of the things that you do? Yeah, well, taking a little bit about goals. So, uh, I never been in business in USA in this beautiful country. And this is my first time, of course. So my goal was learn, be engaged with Lime. And maybe it was a little difficult because the language, you know, uh, I'm learning is still English and be in business and talk with, talk and not only talk, uh, type and learn in English. It was hard for me. But um, now that I can understand every day more and more, uh, I'm just happy. I'm grateful and make it easy as well <laughs> with all the support that we have. And yeah, it's just beautiful. I mean, sometimes I just don't have words to describe what I feel or what I'm, you know, the emotions that I have. But um, yeah. So you were, you, were, you were sharing with me uh, earlier about, um, you know, just how you're really intentional about building relationships with your crews and Ooh. and with your partners or your clients and yes. you know just how you love being able to I guess love on people through the business yeah I mean th- I would say that's my favorite part of the business be uh, around our crews be around the, the customers around people I want people who work in Sherman Williams or Benjamin Moore so that's that's my favorite thing you know like be part of them like just talk and if we have to have a lunch with with our crews it's something that i love it or we have to do something like after work we love it you know it's mm-hmm. it's, it's a really beautiful make me feel like it's not just like like a work situation it's it's something else you know we are really like building a beautiful relationship the relationship almost like as a family, you know, and, and, and also I can tell that they feel very comfortable with us working uh, with Michael or with me, you know, like I can, I can feel because they are always, we are always in communication. We are talking like, oh, Daiva, can you do this? Or can, can I ask you a favor or Daiva or Michael? And it's just like happy to do it, happy that they feel comfortable and they trust us to do something that, uh, something that they want us to do. So yeah well yeah in the same way with the customers you know because just knock the doors and say oh hey how are you or good morning i just want to let you know that we will start the project or we will do this this, that people appreciate that especially the customers appreciate that because we are in we are always like talking to them we are letting them know what we will do what will be the next step so 
So they really appreciate that. And at the end of the, the day, we can, I mean, we know that they really appreciate because they leave us a beautiful reviews in our, in our Google, Google, um, what's, uh, the, the, Google, yeah, the Google account. The Google account. So yeah. yeah, and not only that, they are happy. And every time that we have the opportunity to see them, they are just like happy to see us like, oh, hey, how are you? Like giving us a good reviews. And then not only reviews, they are, they are recommending, they are doing a recommendation with other people. So that's. Yeah, well, it sounds like, yeah. it sounds like you guys are building a really special culture and an intentional culture, um, you know, the family-like culture, and that's definitely the Lime way. Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, you were, we were talking about it earlier as well, you know, one of the things I've always said, and, and uh, it, it, you know, we work in beautiful places for beautiful people, with beautiful people, and uh, when you're in that state, it's just such a great, this is a really great place to be. Um, so you guys are working in the business. Do you guys plan to always be working in the business? Uh, how do you look at scaling? Um, right now you launched, uh, with a single location and you just acquired a second in St. Louis. What, what are your aspirations going forward with the business? So our next goal is we want to, uh, we want to buy a territory in Florida. That's our next goal. That's something that really we really want to do. Um, we've been in Florida many times, and we were just looking around and saying that it's a good place for us to to start up line painting. So that's I will say that's our next next goal. Of course, yeah. Of course, learn more and uh, prefer more in San Luis. Of course, like be. Uh, be a very solid base in San Luis and then go to Florida. Yeah, I, it's, uh, you know, I think with, with all the things that are in place that we alluded to with you and your team and, and then now for us, I think it's, you know, us determining, okay, who do we want to bring on mm -hmm. that's the right fit for us, for our culture, um, for just lime painting of St. Louis. And, um, you know, we really want to partner with somebody and, and we want to give also, you know, the opportunity that, that we have working with you and with lime. Um, we want to also bring that opportunity to, to somebody here in St. Louis. And so, you know, the goal is to really, of course, grow the business, right? um to we acquire that second territory so we're we're primed for that right so what does that look like hiring uh you know uh, either a head of sales or gm depending upon the candidate and i think at that point um it's looking at at hiring you know some young sales folks um it might maybe some interns if it's the right person um and then, you know, really, really, you know, for lack of a better term, I'd say pouring, pouring, sorry, that's our dog, Toby. He's on our business cards and on our website. Look it up, linepaintingofsaintlouis.com. Um, but really, it's, uh, you know, it's about, I would say for lack of a better term, pouring gasoline on the fire, right? That's really what we want to do in our second year, albeit doing it the right way, doing things the right way, um, you know, and, and then doing that will enable us, I think, to expand into, you know, not so much working in the business day to day in terms of like what I alluded to earlier, meaning running errands, keeping the, the crew on the job. Yeah, maybe instead of me doing that, we have a, a project coordinator yes. do, running and doing those errands. Um, you know, so that's the, that's the idea behind that. So maybe pull away from just every single day operations to doing more high level stuff to allow us to expand and, and grow in different areas. But we want to make sure that the quality is still there, you know, love, integrity, mission, and excellence. So we want to make sure that the foundation is strong before we, 
leap into something. So yeah, a part a part of your vetting and doing due diligence, trying to find the right business was, yeah, of course, culture and people, but clearly the model. Hey, can I scale this model? And um, as you look, as you validated and and you currently look around the business, uh, you know, you can see all sorts of different types of owners, whether you know it's full blown owner operator um, or the opposite, you know, totally semi absentee. Um, you know, staffing a GM that runs the territory, uh, you know, and everything in between. So, uh, you know, this first year, it's been great to see you get in the business, be hands-on, understand the business, break into the market. Um, but as you look to scale, you know, staffing, you know, the traditional roles at Lime is the VRC role, our sales role, our creator role, right, project coordinator. And then a GM can wear either hat. Right. So uh, just depending on the talent in the market uh, for you in St. Louis, I think you're going to find, okay, who are the right people? And then, and then put them, put them in the right seats. And if, if you can find a talented VRC that's GM qualified that you can partner with, like, like you mentioned, uh, you know, that, that is allowing you to continue to, uh, fulfill your aspirations to scale the business, but more so work on it, not in it. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry. And you're start you're starting to see that come together and and uh, become more and more confident with that being something that is doable, right? I mean, I I just I asked because January. You're figuring out, is this going to work? Ah, this business is not going to work. Ah, it's going to work. It's not going to work. And here you are, you know, nine and a half months later and, you know, enough confidence to, and and clearly success to, you know, acquire another territory in St. Louis and, and see that, hey, there is a path to me being able to live a lifestyle that I enjoy, which is, hey, I'm from St. Louis, right? And, your, your family travels to, to Tampa quite a bit. So you're going to have best of both worlds. I mean, is that the vision? Is it in my, yeah, exactly. So yeah. you know, well, that's and, really and exciting. Thank you. Thank you. And, you know, it's a testament to, to you guys. It's a testament to, to us. And, you know, it's, I, I lived down there for a year and a half. I know the area and, my parents own a condo. My brother actually went to Auburn, but now works in Tampa. So not only do we have family there, and we know the area, but we also see the opportunities. So. Yeah. So, you know, you talk about building a culture and being good stewards and, you know, being intentional about the relationships and focusing on people, not profits and, and living your dream through all of that. And, you know, one of our biggest values at Lime is the M, right? The, they're all important, love, integrity, mission, excellence. But the M being mission, how are we giving back to the communities that are making our uh, business successful, right? How are we giving it back to, in your case, your home city? Or like for me in Denver, my home city, how are our businesses uh, giving back to the communities? Um, you know, we have a... a a nonprofit called Limelight Outreach that makes it really easy for, you know, a Lime outreach to give back. And so we partner with uh, established nonprofits in markets. For us in Denver, you know, we, we switch every year. This year uh, was Dry Bones. We hosted a golf outing. And um, so for you guys in St. Louis, uh, what, what does that look like? Do you have any aspirations to uh, give back through your business? Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, funny enough, my, my mom started, um, it's a foundation called the little bit foundation in St. Louis about 20 years ago. (laughs) And so she was co-founder of the little bit foundation. And this actually happens to be her, her last year. Um, and so what we wanted to do is partner this year with the Little Bit Foundation to put on a field day or, you know, um, you know, just just a fun day where families can come out and, and support the Little Bit Foundation. And 
a uh, little bit foundation helps meet the basic needs of, of students in the St. Louis inner city schools. And I thought, well, what other way, you know, to, to, to put on our limelight um, for lime painting of St. Louis to, but to partner with the charity that my, that my mom had founded, you know, 20 years ago. And, and so, you know, it's, it's just really important for us to, to give back, you know, not just monetarily, but, you know, my grandmother always talked about um, not just with money, but with your time, you know, exactly. your time is one of it's your more most... value than money. Mm -hmm. For sure. So, you know, anybody, you know, anybody who's wealthy can just throw a bunch of money, but how are we affecting people? You know, like we exactly. just talked about being intentional about how we interact with with our customers, well, we can apply that to how we interact with folks that we can help. And so, you know, that's, that's something that we're, lo that we're really shooting for in year two to put on a, uh, mm -hmm. an awesome limelight event and, uh, you know, just do, do things. So that's, yeah. Uh, do the right thing with the right people. Yep. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you guys will crush it and have a ton of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys uh, when we're coming up on about a month, huh? See you guys. Oh, yeah, before. next month. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have all my outfits, my green outfits. Just green. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm bringing uh, Angela and our two uh, older. Uh, our, we have four, so Nico and Isaiah, our two oldest, Aww. six and five are coming. That's no way. Beautiful. That's wow. awesome. Yeah. Wow. So, if, yeah, for those that don't know, we're doing our first annual conference, uh, Lyme conference uh, in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, that's so, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys there. Um, hey, thanks, thanks so much for being on the call, um, sharing your story. Uh, clearly, it's an amazing story. Uh, you guys took a risk. Uh, not everybody is um, able to do that, right? So many people think and talk and want and hope and dream, but um, you guys did all that and you took action, right? Like you said at the beginning of the call, um, you, you took the behavior and that's the hardest part. So, uh, and now you're living out your dream. Yeah. And, oh, and <laughs> I couldn't be, I couldn't be any more humbled uh, to work with you guys. So. Um, yeah. Thank, thanks for being a part of the fam. Absolutely. It's a pleasure. And yeah. it's a pleasure talk, talking to you. And you can share our process, our our experience. And yeah. Yeah. It's well, well, we'll keep leveling up together. Um, you know, uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh, share if you enjoyed uh, this interview. And as always, get limed. Get limed. Get limed. <laughs>